Oscar Goldman and Dr. Rudy Wells, who had also rebuilt the Six Million Dollar Man. As a result of her surgical implantations, Angie has amplified hearing, a greatly strengthened right arm, enhanced legs, enabling her to ironically present faster than a speeding car. Get it? 
found and retrieved. <laughs> so the semantic web provides technologies to make such integration possible. But consider this perspective. When we visualise it, we see it from a helicopter view. <laughs> and all the people running around down below, whether they are on the court, whether they are in the stands, the semantic web operates in the same way. What we get is data in various formats. Okay, I've explained that. That's ETC and XML and Excel. Data spreadsheets. Consider the applications. And there's a query. And you can manipulate. And again, we see ETC. <laughs> represented in abstract forms, that is the semantic web. And the 3.0 is the amalgam of all this data, for example. <laughs> Rich, dormant formatting. Okay. It's different to ETC. As it is to super paralytic Acquiring radio qualitative languages. <laughs> now, I don't expect you to remember that, but consider it as RDF to the SPARQL. <laughs> I can hear that ringing in your voice like a chant from the crowd singing SPARQL. <laughs> because what you've got to remember, and it comes from the heart when you're cheering the players on, whether you are on the court or whether you are off the court, know this, that most data stored in relational databases works. <laughs> RDFing, rich data formats, did you remember that one? RDFing may be an impossible task, but bridges are being defined. The bridge between you and me, one-on-one, -on -one, in the web 3.0. And so what our conclusion is, is RDB tables mapped to RDF graphics is one thing, but the second thing is SPRQL is becoming the tool of choice to query data. We did not query data before. <laughs> and from that, that, that... And from this perspective, we can now query data from an application, from an engine, and go backwards and forwards, and then again, RDF data. Again, we see XTHML, no, X, X, XHTML, XML, relational databanks, relationships that, that bind data from one place to another. We've got the SPRQL construct that, again, not only moves from the SPRQL endpoint database, but to the SPRQL engine. It all works together. So. I'm going to give you some usage examples. With content, you can track it. <laughs> <coughs> you don't need business intelligence anymore. And it works in collaboration, you and me on the tennis court, working together. We don't need business intelligence. The content, the data matters. And so when we consider linking virtual co communities, consider that it's like this film. Now, you hold Dennis's hand. <laughs> you hold hands. You hold hands. Come on, hold my hand. That's what it's like in terms of linking virtual communities with data. It's, it's in everybody. Finish on multimedia data. <laughs> <laughs> now, consider linking virtual, virtual communities would be amplified, and consider the tennis court again. You'd be in a dress. You'd be the ball. You'd be the fan. And from different perspectives, from different multimedia perspectives, we have a number of points of data that makes all of this come to life. So in summary, get on the court, embrace data, 
go for that multimedia virtual content word, world, get it. Thank you.